Did you ever work in a diner? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah, yeah. as a waiter. I'm On the West Coast, we didn't have diners like this. Well, this so. is really where diners were born. I love the diner. In Massachusetts, New York, yeah. Connecticut, we have tons. Yeah. So tell me, you were you were uh, I'm a waiter. Okay, how were, were you any good at that? I was I was probably I probably could have made a good career out of it. How old were you? I was in college or between college and high school. I think. Yeah. How does one learn how to be a good waiter? I don't know. You know what they used to say? Never go anywhere with, with without something in your hands. What do you mean? So if, you, if you're delivering food, fine. If you're not, you're taking something back with you. You're always doing something. See, I can't figure out how you... Oh, yeah, I can you know, do that. I can put three plates in one this? hand, two in another. But how, do you, how do you do that? Let's say you have an itch. It's, I mean, what, well, what up you? here, you're really balancing it here, and then the other plates are in your hands. But, but they're obviously more heavy. But, you know, it's, it's when you start to do... <laughs> I love one? diners. You, you know, you get nooked in a booth, yeah. you sit there for hours, you don't even know what time it is. Yeah. So you would survey the dining room and see what was coming at you on a particular day? Yeah, you know, usually kind of it, it would just start hitting and you were just go, go, go. Right. And there are some tremendously rude people out there. Waiter, sir, please. Really, really. It is the hardest people. thing to be a waiter or a waitress because people don't care. It just, you just didn't think that people could be that rude. What does that look like to you? Yes, there's a little lipstick on your glass. Okay. There's, but it, Megan, it's your. It's this is your. what I want you to do. I want you to take this glass in the back. I want you to break it. Take the biggest shard you can find and bring it to me. I'm. Then I'm gonna slit your gullet. All right. I'm just. I'll get you another. I'm gullet. gonna slit your throat, and watch you bleed out. I'm Give me just, an example. Um. Well. Uh. I had a big family come in, and like they took up, I don't know, there was like maybe 18 people. Okay, and that's huge. Big, big family. Yeah. But this guy was angry with me before he sat down. And so he, he complained about his burger before he ate it. I said, sir, you haven't even tried it. Wait, did that waitress listen to a word I said? This steak is medium rare. I asked for it medium. And I wanted extra gravy on my mashed potatoes. I, I said, okay, I'll, I'll take a pack. Shove it into the microwave. Well, were yeah. there microwaves then? Probably not. I think we put it, it under the warm Sure, there oh, were okay. microwaves. Well, I'm not that old. <laughs> there was, yeah, there were cars. <laughs> we had okay. electricity. It was, <laughs> All right. And, and, um, and then he complained about everything. That, and there were silly complaints. There were silly complaints. So he was just testing you. And then he paid his bill and I came back to clean off the table, bust the table, and he had left a tip. And he sat out like in the, by the window and watched me laughing, and he left maybe like 16 cents in pennies and, and nickels. Uh-uh, I don't tip. You don't tip? No, I don't believe in it. And people don't realize, you know, waiters, when they get stiffed, they lose money because right. they have to pay in taxes on a certain percentage of their sale in anticipation of tips. And so, if they don't get a tip at all, it just costs so them money good. to wait that table. Do you over tip because you were a waiter? I think most people who are waiters tip more than um, I think tip so too, more at than least 20%. What are some tricks of the trade? Now, you, you know, we mentioned the, the balancing of the plates. You wanna hear one that's really devious? I do. Well. This one's pretty devious. Okay. And this I did for tips. So somebody would say. So you buttered people up? Hey, how's the whatever? And I would go. Don't get that. As if you were really involved. I'm with really the food. helping them because okay. yeah, Dad, don't. It's, I wouldn't get that because they're gonna think this guy's looking out for me. How did you learn that? I don't know. Maybe I just have a devious mind. <laughs> <laughs> so did they do well? I learned in prison. It was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've learned something here today about how to be a good waiter, how to tip well. Tip, tipping is a, that these people that's how they make their living right They're, your 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 pay is minimum wage so people who are working in any service industry that's how they make their money and that the diners are the best on the east coast but before we end this congratulations uh, on your on book oh thanks on what you've been thanks. you've been going around the state Slices doing of life book, which book i wrote tours. about a diner and it, well i yes. mean that was one chapter one one chapter but the whole diner experience fits well into your wonderful book it Thank is, I, 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 I read it and so thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's, uh, 
a simple book with really deep messages. And congratulations, because it's doing well. People are buying it, and more important, thank you very much. People are enjoying it. All right, here's to diners and uh, authors and, and just slices of life. Okay.